Hey, what's going on you guys? Simpsons Bed here and I'm back with another episode review slash recap. This one is from season 30 episode 23 titled Crystal Blue Haired Persuasion. Let's just jump right on into the episode but before we do go ahead and click this subscribe button as every single subscription helps. <laughs> The episode does start off with a small little couch gag. They try to jump it on the couch and then realize it's just drawn on. It then opens up with Smithers and Mr. Burns looking at the year end reports and then Mr. Burns realizes that his numbers are doing worse than the year before. They need to figure out some type of budget cutback so effective immediately he cuts off all the health care benefits for children under their insurance plan. So Marge and Homer are now trying to figure out what to do since the kids are now not covered under Homer's healthcare plan. So Homer suggests we just need to cut back on the meds. Marge lets Bart know that he needs to start taking the generic version of his ADHD medicine. And after Lisa shows Marge a video in regards to that medicine, Marge decides to go see a doctor. Of course without no health insurance they have to go see Dr. Nick. They had no luck with Dr. Nick so they left and on their way home they saw a place called Foul Quartz discover the healing magic of crystals. They go in and look around and the lady at the counter lets them know that yes you could get healing medicine through these crystals. So Marge decides to try these out. She has no insurance, she has no other things to do for Bart so this is her only resort to getting Bart back on track. And it looks like they're working. Bart goes into the kitchen and staples his test right on the fridge, showing everyone that he got an A on it. Of course, Lisa gets a little jealous of this and she becomes a little suspicious saying, yeah, okay, these crystals definitely did not make you get an A on the test. So a couple of the town folk hear about Bart's A and they go to ask Marge. They are curious about how he did it. Marge says, no problem. I'll just get some on the way home. She goes back to the crystal shop and realizes the lady is closing down for business to join a cult. Marge still wants some of the crystals because she believes that these are helping. So the lady just says, you know what? You could just take everything. I don't need these anymore. Marge then gets home and there is a mob of people at the house just wanting to thank her because these crystals are helping out everyone. They're helping out Luann, they're helping out Nelson's mom, they're helping out the whole entire town. They all want to give her money for these crystals so Marge is like man I'm just gonna open up a shop and she does. She opens up a shop in her garage. Meanwhile Lisa is still very suspicious of Bart and does not believe that these crystals could all of a sudden give him magical powers in order to do great on tests. They are closing up shop for the day and some lady does not want to let her close up the shop as she barges in and says hey this is my racket in town you need to shut down. So I guess there's some other lady in town that does similar things that Marge is doing and she's pretty much just trying to get Marge to get out of the business. They're eating dinner and you can tell Marge is kind of concerned about this and then just like that a rock flies through the window and Marge is like alright that's it this means war. Marge is going to get her back the easiest way she can think of and she's going to put a kiosk right beside her at the Shelbyville Mall. That'll definitely show her so now she's right beside the competition so it's game on. And then goes back to the school and shows Bart making another A on one of his tests. The bell rings and class is out and then it shows Lisa crawling through the vents sneaking into Bart's classroom because she's going to get to the bottom of this and find out exactly how Bart is getting these A's. She has her flashlight and she's looking around and then she realizes as she holds the crystal up that whenever you hold the crystal up to the posters that are on the wall you can see writing in the pictures where somebody has placed the Gettysburg address and other helpful test hints on the actual posters and the only way that you can see these is through the crystal. So Lisa finds out that Bart has been cheating and these crystals were not helping. Lisa said you gotta break the news to mom and dad or I'll do it for you. Homer of course does not have time to hear about it so now he has to go to Marge and let her know. Even though he knows that Marge will be heartbroken when she finds out he knows that he has to do it. 
They go up to the mall in order to tell Marge exactly what had happened, but you can see Marge is a little busy right now as she is sabotaging the other lady. She purposely has her sisters come by and try on all the lotion. She has her mom come by and ask a million questions about this egg. Bart then just goes up and tells Marge, hey, I'm sorry. I wasn't getting A's because of the crystals. Just as Bart tells Marge the truth, other Springfieldians come up and tell her the same thing. You have Luann, Nelson's mom, they all come up to her and says, hey, these do not work at all. Marge goes to her competitor and she says, hey, you win. You can have this court's business. I'm done. She goes and visits the lady at the cult that originally gave her all these crystals and she says, run, get out of here. So they both take off. And just like that, you can see them driving away and the episode is over. Definitely kind of a weird episode, but I did like it. It did have its ups, it did have its downs, but for the Simpsons Man rating scale, I'm just going to go ahead and give this three out of five donuts. Kind of almost in the middle, but yeah, just a little above average. Like, it was okay, but it wasn't the best. Last week's episode was definitely better than this one. There were a few funny and interesting parts throughout the episode. Uh, one of the interesting parts was whenever they went back to the school and showed Bart making an A, they had Flanders giving out the test. And did I miss something? Is Flanders now the new teacher? Like, I don't remember that. I think the writers on the show like Breaking Bad a lot because they kind of had another Breaking Bad montage in the middle of the episode, similar to the one they had last week. So that's back-to-back -back episodes with a little bit of Breaking Bad montages. Another funny part of the episode I noticed is when there was a a mob of people waiting for Marge back at home. They showed Kirk and he had a uniform on and his number was less than zero. I thought that was pretty funny because they are always crapping on Kirk. So another thing I noticed was with Dr. Nick. Now everyone thought he died in the Simpsons movie which he kind of did but periodically they have brought him back a little bit here and there on different episodes. So that was actually kind of cool to see Dr. Nick even though he was only in the episode for about five seconds. And guys, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. It's going a little bit longer than normal, but you know, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Check out the other videos that are on your screen right now. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support and have a good one.